James Webb just witnessed something incredible, the birth of planetary building blocks around a dead star. I'm about to take you on a journey that will shrink you down to see exactly how planets begin to form. We're heading to the Butterfly Nebula, 3,400 light years away in Scorpius. This isn't just any nebula, it's the death blossom of a sun-like star, with a white dwarf core blazing at 2 and 20,000 degrees Celsius at its center. Now we're diving into the nebula's dark Taurus. That butterfly's body, you see, edge on. Here's where the magic happens. James Webb's infrared eyes detected something extraordinary. Dust grains that are 10 times larger than typical space dust. We're shrinking down to see these crystalline silicate grains up close. These aren't just any dust particles. They're quartz crystals, cosmic gemstones forged by that blazing white dwarf's energy. And here, floating alongside them, are PAH molecules, the same carbon compounds you'd find in burnt toast. But out here, they're the chemistry of life itself. These tiny builders will drift through space for tens of thousands of years, seeking new star-forming regions where they'll stick together, forming pebbles, then rocks, then planets. We just witnessed the very beginning of how worlds are born. Please like, subscribe, and express how you feel about this subject in the comments section below. Thank you for all of your support for my channel.